the thing I think people have wanted most in this confrontation with the with COVID-19 as a coronavirus is they've just wanted to know when is it going to end? Like when is it when is when is this going to be over? And and for me that became so I think it became so informed by the history of of AIDS in which in which you were dealing with with a different kind of virus in different abject populations. And you know, when we forget that I think that that it took three years to come up for come up with a reliable HIV test. Like three years. And that it took three years to be able to really determine if a person was HIV positive in order to figure out what to do next. And in some cases, that was just understand how quickly they were going to die. Now, the reason I say all this is because we are, we are right now in the middle of these vast expectations about what is possible with something like this new pandemic from this coronavirus. And so I think that for a lot of people now, because there's this conf confrontation, either with family members who have died because of COVID-19 or the possibility of a death they hadn't necessarily expected, and then all the ramifications uh, and repercussions of of dying now as it's been changed by protocols we just want to know when it's going to be over and that's a question we can't answer you get into a position where where you get a, a government that says promises the, the population we will protect you we will save you and it, it, this is already an old trope which is we'll do it through our technology right and, and i always tell my students you should always see like the noble hand of technology you know what i mean like pointing towards the future even if it's not understood what that technology is but it'll be the technology will save us